Yeah, I'm sharing my screen, okay? Okay, sir. Uh, please confirm my screen is visible or not. Visible, right? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so today's topic is that uh, I've covered two things that uh, mount and versus hello. This thing, and also that uh, one test case I will write in the Axios. Okay, how we consume the uh, when the API call is there, right? Some API call we are going to create in the Axios, and that has to be mocked in the API call. So these uh, things I will describe today with with uh, and some use cases of your uh, if you are using some theme based component, right? So you have to mock the themes. So how you can mock the themes and how you can set the value from there. So this kind of thing I will explain to you. So let's go. You can see that mount uh, earlier we have also discussed the same thing that uh, if we have nested element, nested component inside one component and we have to debug that uh, that component, that time we can use the mount and hello means only this component can render means I have in the app.js and if I will uh, call another component from the app.js through hello, because hello only return the entire component app.js. You cannot debug nested this component, right? But in the mount, you can get all elements from the app.js. So React 16 has uh, uh, hello. Yes, any question? No, no, I continue. Okay, so React 16, this is one adapter of Engine, Engine adapter React 16. So if your version of React is 17 and you are using the React 16 Enzyme adapter, that time mount will not work. So it's alternative that if you are using the React 16, otherwise you have to downgrade the React version, uh, or you are using the React 17, that time this uh, adapter you have to install in your system and then mount will work. So let's see. Uh, this is one minute. This is my test environment. CMD. You can see that our adapter is 16, right? The currently in the previous example, we saw that adapter 16 we have installed. Now I am going to add uh, these things. Hello. Hello, you want? And same thing if I will copy and paste and take mount. Okay, and you have to import the mount over here and Console part two if I run in PM run case. In go your app test, right? I mean the app test. It throws one error. You can see that mount cannot identify, right? Uh, yeah. It cannot identify in the DX sixty adapter. 
the adapter is there. You cannot identify. So that's why we are going to install this thing and same thing will work. Yeah. So you can see I've created already this thing. Uh, our adapter is uh, this one. Instead of enzyme 16, we are creating the 17 and that is adapter. An adapter you have to install over there. And then I, I will run the test case, it will work. And one more thing that is the you are using the describe method, right? There is too many means more than uh, one describe method. So you can also skip this method, describe your skip. Bound, whatever the describe I'm writing inside the bound is free one. So you can also skip and all and all, all. Now run the test is you can see in my app dot js creating one component that is table and this is the table that is that has to be mounted and identified through this code. So going there mount cmd npm run test The element is nested. Now you can see that table is also developed, right? Earlier, uh, if I change this thing inside your only the hello, if I will do that instead of this console log, so Only table is there. Inside the table, we cannot find to the hello. But in the mount, we can get. And then the rest of the thing is same. You can also do equal to be everything you can also do. So, wrapper, you can get all the elements from there. So, this point you understood is hello and mount. This is how you can configure. In the setup.js, if you are using React 17, if your version is this one, React DOM and React 17 is there and that time the react 16 adapter will not work you have to install this one and then it will work now okay yes course. yeah next is that axios one 
uh, if I have some API calls from the Axios, and then uh, how can I configure the test case? The data is coming, right? So this data, how can we configure on the Axios? So this is my test case. I will remove everything. So first, I have to run the module. What is it's just some tests are coming so test case is that your uh, this one this one i just add one uh, url and add the uh, and fetch the data from the url and save the data over there and some loading component is there and then for loop by creating one for loop and inside the for loop i just add this thing so this uh, this page uh, i call the axios in the axios uh, with method i added and then how to write the test cases that i want to so, so i will delete all the things Okay, let's do it. the page with some data we need. Get some time. Oh, we do another one. Just five or three names I'm coming from the axis. So this is the user data. Also log.
input data are coming from the API. So we can see that whole result I am taking. You can also take two results. You can deal this with the two results. This simple one get API call. So now I'm going to write some test case over there. Okay. So I have to create this file test config dot. Yeah. First I have to create one file. Uh, that is your test dot config dot js. I'm creating in the JS okay. Output of each team. Library React. Humor, I have added one thing that uh, for each and before each method, right? So every time it will render, so I'm creating one environment, setup file after environment. So this library will render and also the cleanup method will be done. So that time what happened, the, uh, how many files are with there, so that will be cleaned up from this uh, module. So that will be set up in the js.config.js. So this is your first uh, place where your js will run from this config, right? And I have to add one thing in the SRC folder. In the inside the SRC folder, create one folder. Of folder. Inside the mock, I can add one folder that is your axios. Not this. Now it's good. Default. Get method. Uh, dot. Dot defend dot of resolve value. I'm going to mock this thing, the value, whatever is coming in the gate method. And initially, my data is null. So data, this is the axis one. Also, I'll export it. For the user, I'll write one test case.
so test case you can write to is user dot page dot base or users dot any one file you can create either test or speed any of them you can create to okay. so import yeah um Yeah, from here but also the user you have to import this thing otherwise you cannot be understand that which file i'm going to paste and what the object is there also input render in the top fifteen line. Of now I'm going to write one function mock call. Mock call. Axios dot get dot mock. You can see here I am adding the mocking data, right? So how my data is coming? This way. User data inside the two objects are there. So I'm getting data. The data I'm taking results. Because results are there. So I'm taking that result object results and to update I'll create. This is my mock data. One is name. So 
Look fast. I'm creating this function, not for and adding one thing that was your after each call. After it, we will clear the whatever the objects are coming and it will store that object. I will going to clear after each method. So, CS dot it dot pop clear. Is my last algorithm to be split over here. This is my function. Now describe. Or text, you can even write. First, I'll is the loader. Then, uh, when it is reaching the data from server. So you can on the function you did visualize the mock data and call the function. It by it is equal to I will take the render. Render method 
I'm not taking hello or mount. I'm taking the render. And then it's with This text is present here loading. When to is this one? Mm -hmm. Is working or not? <laughs> Run test. Maybe the document you know okay it's a little bit something of the open. this one all See me and PM run.
In the document, not one In that, uh, I question. Yes, yes. To be in the document is there. What I'm asking, uh, yes. in the results, uh, result, you uh, put uh, two things under uh, name, right? First and uh, only fast, but there are uh, so many things we can do, right? Like first, uh, last, and also the title also. We can add, right? Uh, yes. Huh? First and last, last name? Uh, in, in real session, you uh, check the first uh, name only, right? Name yeah, only. That, that, uh, that different means this is my object, OK? Mock data. Yes. Whatever the data is coming, na? so this yes, is. Yes. The data structure I have created this way. This is my data, and this yes, is the please. result. Result means in that user, you can, yes. so, uh, you can see that I create one uh, structure, right? Data, data, yes. and result. This format and result is object, a, a, a array of object, right? Yes, correct. So, this way, that's why I'm creating data and inside the result, and this is my array of object. Okay. okay. So uh, we need to uh, no need to put uh, everything right only whatever. No we no, no 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 no. Why are you? Because I am importing the axios right. You can see yes, that correct. axios dot get and after that mock result value once. This is your mock value creation called initial state. Okay. Okay. You have create this thing and you that's why I'm creating the function because every uh, test case you're writing now uh, this thing you have to copy and paste copy and paste. So that's why I'm creating the function over there. More 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 call function okay yes correct this mock call function i'll get but i am not understood that to be in the document that is in the place so it should be one yeah yeah because error is pointing uh to to that that place. Uh, so loading uh, let's see that i'm adding another test case so then i understood that for me right? let me put uh, another thing like to be in the document or else something else we can put there no that I can add it. That's not an issue. But why to be uh, to be in the document will not work? That is my question. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. One minute. Just loading. Loading is my this text. Your loading text. This is. Earlier I was to face this thing, but to be in the document. One minute.
it was supported this thing. Okay, I'll write another test. I'll write test. In that username, in that username on root. I think, I think function, I use this thing, mock call. And copy this line. Not at date on my test ID. And check what the render inside in the row. Forms do hello commit because I'm using async error, so wait for element is to add here. Wait for element and create the callback. Not map because. All my data is coming as a for loop, right? Here. For loop. So I'm creating the map. Close dot map. Row. Row dot. It's content. It's content. Now console log the help. Console dot log two helps. The user data is mocked, right? The name. This thing I'll fetch it, right? Yes. User yes. data in the console log, whatever the value is there. Yes, that is print. Huh? What? Yeah, yeah. The that uh, whatever. No, still in there. I'll solve this error, but I'm going to see this thing that whatever I mock this data in the console log is right. Yeah, that is right. Now you are also seeing that uh, this this is your uh, attribute ID, right? So that's why it's coming, but total element, it has been printed over there, right? Yes. In the, whatever the data is coming from the API, right? Yes. Next correct. thing is there, what I will do, I'll create that it's script.
टू वैल्यूज डॉट टू इक्वल ये ऑलवेज कंस्टेंट ओके यार
In the value, Hello. 